Hello everyone! Glad to see that you're watching our channel once again. Basically what that means is that it's time for some new and intriguing facts. If you love prehistoric creatures, we have a gift for you today. Let's recall the Mosasaurus, a large lizard that once lived and dominated the Earth's oceans long ago. The Mosasaurus went extinct about 66 million years ago along with Pterosaurus and other non-avian dinosaurs. But what would have happened if they had survived? Are you interested in finding out? You'll know all about it by the end of this video. Let's begin! Kings of the Sea First, let us briefly explain what we generally know about Mosasaurus research. This magnificent sea lizard is not as popular compared to its distant relatives, the famous long-necked plesiosaurs. But it was the Mosasaurus that truly dominated the seas and open seas of the late Cretaceous period. The first fossil of the Mosasaurus was found in a limestone cave near Maastricht in the Netherlands in 1764. The fossil found there was a fragment of its skull. Unfortunately, researchers at the time were unknowledgeable and classified the fossil as one that belonged to a crocodile, sperm whale or some unknown fish. It was not until 1799 that the identity of the creature discovered in Maastricht was properly recognized. The name Mosasaurus which means Lizard of the Mass River, was created even later in 1822. The Mosasaurus was not a single species, instead, it described a family. The Mosasauridae were divided into a wide variety of species, each with different body sizes and anatomical features. The largest species representative of the Mosasaurs was the Mosasaurus Hoffmanni, which was 17 meters long whereas the smallest, Dallasaurus, which lived at the same time, was less than a meter long. The Mosasaurus is not a dinosaur. Taxonomically, it is a lizard. Its closest genetic relative still living today is a monitor lizard, which may even share an ancestor with the Mosasaurus. Nonetheless, if you were to see a real-life Mosasaurus, you would not find any lizard-like features on it. It looks rather like an animal born as a cross between a fish and a manatee with a relatively hooked rat-like tail. The ecology of Mosasaurus was rather similar to that of a whale. Its internal organs were also similar to a whale. The sea monarch was also a viviparous organism. What is most interesting is that it was warm-blooded, unlike today's reptiles. These features gave the Mosasauridae a marked evolutionary advantage, which is why, until the end of the Cretaceous, they outcompeted larger salmon sharks and pleosaurs. The fossil record suggests that Mosasauridae were found throughout the Earth. Fossils have been found in many places such as Eurasia, North and South America, Africa and even Antarctica. This may have had something to do with the fact that those sea lizards had a wonderfully efficient body structure and could thrive anywhere, as well as the fact that the climate was similar in almost all regions of the Earth at that time, which created similar biome systems everywhere. The End of Its Domination The extinction of Mosasaurus was caused by a disastrous natural disaster that occurred 66 million years ago. When the doomed asteroid that created the Chicxulub crater fell on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, the entire Earth was plunged into a dark night that never ended for many years. Dust and ash block the sun's rays. This caused mass extinctions during the Cretaceous and Paleogene periods. It was an ecological catastrophe that caused species including mosasaurs, pterosaurs and dinosaurs to go extinct. One might ask questions like, if the asteroid had not fallen, would the Mosasaurus still be alive in today's oceans? As a matter of fact, that would be very unlikely. 
There are many known natural cataclysms in geological history that have caused mass extinctions. In fact, ecological changes have already destroyed the reptilian dominance on land, in the sea and the air, meaning that there would have been some type of event that would have caused its fall either way. In the mid 20th century, when researchers had not yet identified a single cause for mass extinction between the Cretaceous and Paleogene periods, there were many theories to explain it. One of those theories attributed the cause of the mass extinction to the biosphere. Two factors, the emergence of flowering plants, which produce flowers and seeds, and climate change caused by continental drift were thought to be related to this major event. Flowering plants appeared around the beginning of the Cretaceous period and gradually became dominant in the plant kingdom, a position that they still hold today. Because the roots of flowering plants are held firmly underground, the coast and shores of waters become stronger and less susceptible to being washed away. As a result, the amount of inorganic matter flowing into the oceans began to decrease, causing the chemical composition of the oceans to change. This then produced a chain reaction that killed off a lot of seaweed and plankton, causing herbivores and animals that feed on plankton to die and in turn killing predators that fed on those types of organisms. In these cases, large predators at the top of the food chain are especially vulnerable. The biosphere theory was shot down when evidence of an asteroid strike was found, but the latest research shows that this was not necessary. This theory had a point. At the very least, it offered a reasonably plausible explanation for the extinction of the sea lizards. This theory may apply to pterosaurs as well. Many pterosaurs, like seabirds today, had close ties to the sea for their nutritional needs. In any case, if we put it another way, we can say that the mosasaurs, like all of its relatives, could not escape the unstoppable march of evolution and the development of the biosphere. If there were to exist a world in which the mosasaurs could have survived to the present day, it would have been a world completely different from ours today. But let us imagine for a moment that the mosasaurs managed to adapt to their environment and survive despite the changes in the world. The World of Monsters Being warm-blooded animals, the extensive habitat of the mosasaurs would have been largely maintained. We would have encountered various species of this fish-like lizard throughout different oceans and seas, except for areas where it is extremely cold. Each species of the mosasauridae would have reigned at the top of the food chain in the seas. Sharks would have been relegated to the backstage at best, and at worst, would have gone extinct altogether. That would mean that people today would not even know that shark-like creatures existed in the past. The reason for this is that shark skeletons, with their high cartilage content, do not remain in a good fossil condition. Researchers would have debated long and hard over which species the mysterious single tooth and backbone belonged to, but they would never have been able to think of a shark-like organism. Whales and other members of the family Delphinidae, including orcas, probably would not have existed in the form we know them to be. This is because these aquatic mammals diverged from their terrestrial relatives, who lived about 50 million years ago during the Eocene Epoch. At some point, those organisms were driven into the shallows and swamps, where they lived a semi-aquatic life and then migrated fully into the sea. The reasons that they were able to thrive in the sea was that there were virtually no large predators at that time. But if the mosasaurs had survived, they would have been the ones at the top of the food chain. Meaning that the ancestors of the Delphinidae and whales, even if they survived, would probably have been relatively small aquatic or semi-aquatic animals such as seals. The Mosasaurus would have also harmed humans. It is unlikely that they would have intentionally hunted our ancestors. This is because in nature, generally, there is no organism whose primary source of sustenance is humans. However, swimming in Mosasaurus habitats would be extremely dangerous. It would be the same thing as swimming in a place where there is a large number of sharks and crocodiles. 
In other words, the Mosasaurus would have been to humans what sharks, whales and crocodiles are now. Its skin might have been prized and traded for money. This might mean that the Mosasaurus would be in danger of extinction and, by now, would have become an endangered animal. As for land creatures, things would probably not be much different for them. Of course, this is because the Mosasaurs are not particularly interested in land creatures. This ends today's video. Thank you all for watching until the end. We hope you enjoyed. Please, subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. Also, don't forget to share this video on your social networking sites. It would help us a lot if you do so. Thank you always for all your constant support. With that, we bid you a quick farewell. Hope to see you all again soon. Goodbye.